All right, guys. Well, if you've been paying attention at all to this save, and if you haven't, it's fine. If you've been pay paying attention all to my save, you know that uh, we have like no players. I mean, we have no money. We have basically no wage budget. We have like no money at all. We have a collection of 22, now 23 players because some guy just came in that I guess I signed. I don't remember signing him. Okay, 23 players, whatever. We have um, a couple of players here on this team. And uh, we have to figure out how to get them to play together. It's kind of a problem because if somebody gets injured, we have a bunch of really bad youth players to choose from, and that's it. There's not enough money to get another player. So um, what that means, of course, is that we have to do a whole bunch of squad rotation. I'm going to show you sort of how I do this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look here at this uh, screen, and I'll show you. This is the uh, planner that I have written up. Why do I use this and not the stupid squad planner? It's because the squad planner is in a different menu. You got to go back and look at it again. You always have to keep it up. If you put a guy in your short list, he'll come onto the planner even if you don't want him to. The thing will like reorganize people all the time. Look, Sports Interactive, the squad planner is a horrible, horrible invention. It is something that is needed, but it doesn't work. That's why I'm doing this. Look at what I have on my screen. You see this? You see what I'm using? The reason why is because the squad planner doesn't work, and I know it doesn't work well in FM24 either. So it's not just because I'm playing FM23. All right, so what I do is I got my positions down here, and I write down the guys who are playing in each position. I know some of these guys can play in more than one position, but in my mind, I have them stationed in one position, right? Maybe this means I'm on the spectrum or something. I don't know. It's just easier for me logically to think about it like that. And so I look through here, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, so we have, what, one, two, three guys here in defense. We'll make sure our first team are going to be the top couple of guys, and then the second team are the next couple, right? And uh, we'll rotate these guys in and out. Uh, match after match we have to do a match after match here with uh, world super league because we're playing like a million matches in a row right that's just the way that this is written up especially at the beginning of the season it's difficult for us because we have the world cup to worry about um this is in 2022 it's a december world cup and all that other stuff so we have to play a whole bunch of matches early in the season because of that we have to get used to playing two matches a week and so we'll have one team play the first match and the other team play the second match right if that means that we lose every other match because we have a bunch of players who are bad playing together and so it is. We'll try to win as many as we can and offset our losses. The ul the ultimate goal overall is to try to get the players used to playing with each other and to keep them happy by giving them a lot of game time. So that's the reason why we do this, and that's why we have rotation. And so afterwards, when we go back over here in the Football Manager itself, you can sort of see how we're going to set this up, right? I'll keep our next match is an FA Cup match again against Sheffield. We just beat them. So we're going to put out the same team that beat them before, um, Chu, Joshua Chu is kind of our star back there in the back. Here's the, the man whose name I always forget, uh, uh, Girolamo, um, Nicol Girolamo is going to be over there. He's a 31-year-old uh, player. Um, he's uh, English-Italian. Um, and for some reason, he's uh, found himself in here into the very, very bottom of everything. And there's Cunningham, one of the players we're play playing for, playing in the back. Um, then I'll look here in the uh, center. So we'll put Mac Masters out again. I know he had uh, not a great match last time out. doesn't matter to me. And David uh, Sarpong uh, will be next, uh, right next to him. On the left side, it's going to end up being uh, Poodle coming back out. Uh, Poodle actually can play the position natively. Blakely cannot, nor can um, uh, his replacement, Badhawi. Uh, but Badhawi will come in as well. And then it's pretty simple. We just go up to the top, and we'll put in, uh, again, uh, Keegan Horan. Uh, we'll put uh, probably Kelvin Seung in the center since he scored two goals for us. So uh, there you are, Seung. And uh, then we'll put uh, Fergus Boyce back out there again. Fergus Boyce is the guy who um, I was about to angrily uh, take off. Um, but uh, then he scored a goal for us. So um, everything went better than expected. And then Hannah, of course, has his suspension for that red card. And that's basically the way that I do this, right? This is the way that I rotate my squad. Um, I try to do this every match. Again, if you want to go see this in the schedule, look at this. So we just had, uh, what, uh, one, there's one week, two matches that week, two matches this week. We only have one match this week against Sheffield. Week afterwards, we'll have two matches, and then we'll have some time off before we play Hampton and Richmond. Um, we have a while to go before the Super League cu uh, Five Cup first round. By this point in time, when we get to October, look at all the matches we have that month. By the time we get there, we should have our cohesion uh, down a little bit more. We have a little bit of time to rest here. We'll have some time, maybe even for some uh, friendlies, maybe like in this break or something like that. Should work out pretty well, I hope, um, and uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, that's what the plan is here uh, going forward, and that's the reason why we uh, rotate so much. Rotation is a good thing. It makes your players happy. It's also a good thing not to have too many players in your squad. We just hope no one gets hurt. 
And uh, there you have it, short and sweet. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.